All right, what's up everyone? This is Sox, or as you may know me in game, Sox are great. Right? And I wanted to do an account overview, and which hopefully answers some of the questions which you guys had in my comments, as well as some people that messaged me in game. Okay, so I'll start with the basics from my last video, if anything. Right, my kill points are currently at 9.3 billion kill points. And as you can see, I have a pretty good ratio of T4 to T5 kills, about two to one, I'd say. Um, that's pretty good, right? That's ideally where you want to be or higher in terms of your T5 ratio, right? Um, and I'm currently at VIP 16, right? I have 1,055 login days and I'm about 500,000 VIP points until I hit that VIP 17 mark. I can actually check my account, exact account age. If you check your marksman recruit date, right? Marksman is like your first commander you recruit. So this is my first day I started playing. So I'm about a month away until I hit that uh, three year mark, right? A lot of people, well, almost everyone asked me, right, how did I get all those resources, right? So I'm going to show you first that I have um, five farms linked to my main account right now, right? And I have uh, six on a different login. It's a Facebook login. Uh, so I'm not going to switch to that right now, but I'm going to show you. I have currently 11 farms, right? And seven of them, seven of them are City Hall 25. The other four are City Hall 24. Right? I highly suggest that everyone push their farms as high city hall as possible right because you can get that trading post to a higher level as well which means you pay less tax right most people stop at city hall 22 but i like to push as much as i can close as close as i can to city hall 25 right you also get the the donkeys right the donkeys go faster when you transport resources they go out faster and come back faster so that it also helps you transfer resources faster as well right so let me show you my farms, right? So I have one that's R4 right here. This is my, and then I have another 10 right here that I made R2, right? So you can see these are the ones here, the first six here up till 10.9 mil. These are all uh, City Hall 25 and the other ones are City Hall 24. The City Hall 24 ones I made somewhat recently in my last kingdom 1235, which unfortunately didn't, it didn't go so well. So now I brought them all to 2268 where I am now. Right. And uh, as you can see, right, if you click on this farm, I, I gather quite a lot of resources, right? 13.7 million resource assistance. You look at my next farm, 11.3 billion. So all of them have a pretty good amount of resources, which I gather as well as uh, send to my main account. Right. If you look at this one in particular, this is my one of my older farms, 14.6 billion resources. So I am pretty active in gathering resources on my farms, just sending out the gatherers every day. Uh, I also, you know, help build the pits, right? These are all me and Yar are helping build out the pits here, right? So I built a lot of the gold pits, right? You need gold if you want to field fight with T5, right? Uh, oh, another thing to touch on. I was using, in my last KVK, um, in the first zone, I was using three marches T5 and one T4. And as we went into Kingsland, I just used full T5. And full T5 is very expensive, especially on the gold, right? So you do need to maintain farms as well as be active on the farms if you want to fight with full T5. Um, I don't suggest mixing. I know people do mixing, but I just don't like mixing because you lose the march speed, right? If you mix T5 and T4, you'll notice that you basically have the march speed of a T5 march while you're mixing, right? I know some people say, you know, it's cheaper, right? But I, I don't like losing March speed, right? I love March speed, honestly, right? Especially when I field fight, I like, I love to use faster marches, which is why I hate my Archer March, but you know, I gotta, I gotta play what's better, right? So, um, most important thing about farms is right to be active, right? And as you can see, I am very active on my farm accounts and that is how I'm able to gather the amount of resources that I use, um, that I use last KVK, which is about 25 billion or 26 billion resources, right? Uh, another thing, right? I wanted to show my bag, right? So you can see, I still have quite a lot of resources in my bag, right? The bag is ultimately la my last resort. Okay. So I actually calculated here for you. So you can see my food packs as up to my stone packs here. I have 3 billion food, uh, five, 6 billion wood, about 2.5 billion stone, which adds up to about like, I think I was doing that here adds up to about 11.9 billion of food, wood, and stone. Right. And as well, just the gold, I have about 1 million in just these gold packs here. Right. So uh, the bag is definitely my last resort, but I did use quite a bit last KVK. I actually used, um, I think I used all 
these ones. I used about one mil of these random resource packs last KVK. Like I was at actually 2.5 million last KVK. Uh, and I used quite a bit of these. Um, gives me all of the different ones, right? So this is, adds up to about 3 billion of my random resource chests, which I still have here. The pick one chests uh, over here, the resource pick one chests here, these add up to about... Uh, if I do mixed resources, let's say about 2.5 billion mixed resources. So I'd say I have about 18.5 billion just in my bag here. Okay. So some may think, oh, why are you asking for bank for resources? Well, I mean, this is still ultimately my last resort. So um, the last KV course K was definitely a hard one, but I'd prefer to keep my bag, you know, not use it until... Maybe my ultimate hell KVK comes like against 1960 or some crazy kingdom. Last KVK was definitely difficult though. Uh, let's move on to speed ups, right? So as you can see, I have quite a lot of speed ups, right? So the one and the five minute speed ups, obviously I get a lot of these from killing barbarians. Uh, I actually haven't chained much recently, but I still do marauders a lot, right? So the one minute speed ups, I probably got a lot from marauders as well as the occasional KVK barbs, right? The same for the five minutes and the five minutes of the healing speed ups and the one and five minutes of the universal speed ups here, right? So you can actually calculate them here, right? So you can see from the universals over here, I have about 15, 70 days of just universals as well as the healing speed ups, right? And for the training speed ups up here, I have 573 days, right? So it's very important to keep. Uh, not just the training, but the universals. The trainings are pretty important during KVK, mainly because there are a lot of uh, bastions that require you to train as well as power up. So it's very important to keep your training speed ups like a pretty good amount entering to KVK so you can finish those bastions because those bastions that give the, the, for the power and the increase the power and the training troops, they give a lot of crystal as well as the favor for the bastions. And I can explain that in a later video as well, but. Uh, yeah, universals I use a lot for fielding. Um, last KVK, I think I said I used 625 days, right? So it's always important to keep these speed ups in a high amount, right? And of course, being in a spending alliance like 2268 does help, right? Since reset, I think we got like 15 gold chests, which is not bad, right? I'm not in 1960, so it's not going to be like crazy. Uh, but we do have whales and we do have spenders, so. Um, obviously being in a high spending alliance will help keep your speed ups at a very good amount, right? So that's how I'm also very efficient when I field fight, right? You saw only 625 days and I got 2.5 billion kill points. So it's a combination of those factors that result in me having a lot of speeds, right? As well as just being very active overall, right? And my boosts, right? So I used a lot of army expansions last KVK. Uh, so I think I started last KVK with 25 and now I'm down to five, right? So I would say I used 20 or maybe more than 20 uh, last KVK. So you do need um, the 50% if you want to field fight and get good trades, right? So I highly suggest you buy the 50% from either the courier shop when it's discounted for 1500 gems or the VIP shop, which is 2500 gems. Uh, if you're buying from either, I suggest buying them during more than gems, but sometimes I just buy from the courier if it's at a 70% discount because 1,500 gems is, you know, pretty reasonable. Um, and I do buy them pretty occasionally as well as these boosts, right? You need these boosts. Okay. I didn't realize to use these boosts until probably I entered uh, SOC, SOC, whatever, Seasons of Conquest. So these boosts are in the VIP shop right here, the 24-hour enhanced defense boost as well as the 24 hour enhanced attack boost. So these last for 24 hours and they're also 10%, which is not the same as the 5% boost you get from gold chests or whatever chests. I have a ton of these. And I, I, some, I have no use for these actually really, because I use these for PVP and I use these for PVP. I use the four hours for arc, right? But no use for these. Uh, in terms of equipment, I think you guys saw my main equipment uh, in the last video, right? So I have uh, 24 pieces of legendary equipment. You can see them all up here pretty nicely. I have four crits, two, uh, three on my cap pieces, boots, ash, and I have one on my crit horn. Okay, so I have uh, 24 pieces, which is pretty good, right? 24 pieces basically means I have uh, six pieces for each march. I run four marches, so I have six pieces of legendary gear on each of my marches, right? And uh, for these 
uh, mats or materials, right? I have a calculator courtesy of Toots from the ROK server, right? So I just input all my choice chests, right? The choice chests are the first row here on the side. And then I input the all this stuff here, the epic leather, elite leather, I don't know what it's called, and then normal leather. And then I just input it all and it gives me the total number of legendary materials, which I have, right? It's pretty handy, in my opinion, of keeping track of where I'm at. Right, so I have 170 right now, and I'm currently sitting on this gear, which is pretty good, right? Um, I'm, I'm always improving my gear, always working on my gear, right? So I always want to make sure I have enough heading into KVK or when the the Holy Knight's Treasure or Egg event comes around, right? Uh, gathering gear, this is also very important for free-to-play players, especially if you're gathering gems. Uh, I might go into this more detail later, but if you're gathering gems, you want to make sure that you have the four piece set, the four piece purple set, because that gives you an extra 5% resources when you gather. So that means also when you gather gems, you can also get an extra 5%. So I currently have four sets, Matilda, Constance also has one, Tamar and Ishida, Ishida, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Ishida. So I have four of the four piece uh, purple sets, right? I do gather gems quite a lot during KVK. Um, I don't actually chain as much nowadays. Um, I mainly just gather gems because it's a lot easier to do, I'd say. A lot less time intensive in my opinion as well. Uh, about my armaments, okay. I'll show those at a later time. I did show them in the previous video. Uh, but I'll just go here to the section and other, right? I have a lot of TP still, so I'm, uh, I'm surprised. I guess there's a lot of territories. This AP is quite a lot actually. I thought I used a lot last KVK, but I still have 900, this adds up to about 900,000 AP. Um, my gold heads are almost zero right now because I was using all my gold heads to expertise Herman Prime, mainly because I just really like what he brings to my marches. And I think he's a good addition on the field for your kingdom as well. Okay. So I'm going to talk about my commanders now. Okay. So I use four marches, right? You can see them here. Zook Herman, Scipio Luce, Nev Joan, and Huo William. Okay. So... Out of these commanders, um, the only one I don't have expertise is William, actually. Okay, so you guys can see, I have Alex expertise. I sort of regret that, but it is what it is. Did early on. Nevsky expertise, Scipio expertise, Joan, Zug, Luce. I have who maxed, meaning it's all skills are maxed out, but I have not hit the expertise button. That's a choice. I don't think I'll regret, but I, I like that choice for now. I'll say, why is she expertise as well as my Herman, which I just did. Okay, so um, I definitely think Herman is a strong addition to my lineup as well uh, for people thinking about maxing Herman. But there are more important commanders to max first, I'd say. Uh, I'd say Nevsky is probably second priority right now, and Luce is probably the first. Uh, but let's talk about my gear, right? So we all saw my gear in the last video probably, uh, but if you skipped over it, here's what it looks like. Uh, I have the two-piece Hellish, waste, Hellish Wasteland set, which is a set chest and the set boots piece and i also have the ring and horn with addition to the kvk helmet and ash and uh, navars right uh so this set gives a lot of defense as well as the health which you know cab gear is pretty he uh, heavy on defense as well as health um so yeah and my armaments oh yeah armaments on my nevsky gear what do they look like so i am pretty lucky with my armaments okay i'll say that um, as a free-to-play player, you do not see many free-to-plays with stats like this, right? So I do have um, quite a few good inscriptions, right? 3.5 defense, 1.5 all damage, 3.5 attack, and the KVK Hunter inscription, right? So all pretty good inscriptions, right? And if you see my individual inscriptions, right? I have three of a stat on this Hunter, three of a stat on this with double inscription. This is two of a stat. Yeah, two of a stat with my all damage. And this is also two of a stat. I'm actually pretty fortunate to get to get this with just like this, and I just slapped a hunter on it, and that's it, right? So that's for my Nevsky. Uh, let's go to my Scipio. Okay, the gear is pretty standard for field players. Okay, I highly suggest this for field players that you get the four-piece um, set, right? The Eternal Empire set because it gives you 10% march speed, right? And for field players, trust me, march speed is very important. Okay. If you don't have good march speed, you will get shredded on the field, especially as free to play with basically non-existent tech. Trust me. Uh, so I have the four piece set and I have, what is it? Hope cloak, ring and horn, right? So as you notice, infantry gear is pretty scuffed. It's like, 
I don't even know what reach stats like defense and like no health. I wouldn't even have health if I didn't have these pants actually. If I had the uh, eternal what's called eternal night, I forget what it's called, but the that gear that gives defense instead. Um, I wouldn't even have health, right? The infantry gear is pretty weird, but I like the march speed and Scipio Luce slaps pretty hard. So, you know, I'm okay with it. Uh, in terms of my armaments, uh, it needs work. It needs work. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is what I got for infantry, okay? So I have started, I actually used the transmute. Uh, this was transmuted 10 times and I did the unlock and, you know, what was it called? The special shiny crystal. What is it called? the um, that unlocks all the transmutations it's called a transmute it's just called transmutation crystal okay so i use the transmutational crystal on this armament actually and i unlocked all the choices for this uh chances for this one but unfortunately my i don't have a single three of a stat for infantry which is pretty unlucky right but um i mean i can't complain if you look at my cav gear right so it's not bad right i have a lot of pretty he attack heavy all damage attack attack yeah it's a pretty attack heavy which is unfortunate but you do want to aim for more uh health and defense on infantry primarily health because in terms of the gear you do not have a lot of health at all right so um try not to make your armaments look like mine for the the infantry side at least and for archers right so uh, there are a lot of people who will say different things about the archer gear, right? I currently have the four-piece dragon breath set. I, I've heard a lot of different things, right? Um, two, 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 right? Two-piece leadership, two-piece KVK, two-piece dragon breath, uh, six-piece dragon breath, four-piece dragon breath, and two-piece leadership. I've heard a lot of different opinions on this. Um, I just went ahead and made the four-piece dragon breath. I'm not sure whether that's the best right now, of course, with leadership gear. Um, but this is what I have, right? So I have the four piece dragon breath and I have a horn and a crit flag, right? I love my March speed, right? I told you. So I have my crit flag right here. Um, and yeah, it's not, it's not bad gear, honestly. It's like mostly defense and then actually it's not that good, but it, it's, it gets by. Um, and my armaments are definitely not the best, right? So you can see, I even went for a, uh, oh, it's not here. Where's my March speed? I went for... March speed inscription, which is definitely not the best, but um, I'm not working with much with archers, right? So you can see my archer armaments are definitely not as good as my cav armaments, okay? It's not bad. I mean, as you can see, I still get a lot of kills with these. So uh, my who? what is my, okay, my gear was sort of still glitching out. Uh, my hulo, I unequipped my accessories but i do not have good accessories for this march unfortunately um but this is mainly my just my buffing march right my huo william march uh so i have the two piece set basically the same march as my nevsky just minus the accessories right so pretty heavy on defense as well as health again uh definitely need to work on the accessories at some point uh this march is decent overall though right and my armaments are of course pretty good hunter inscription this gives it a little more tankiness takes less skill damage and reduces the damage taken, right? I also get pretty lucky to get three of a stat on this with one transmute, three of a stat here. This is two, I think, yeah, two. This is three of a stat with no inscription, right? So um, I'd say my armaments as well as my gear is pretty solid for where I'm at in the game right now. Uh, but it obviously could use some improvement, but I think overall my account is in pretty good shape. I also wanna show my city skins if possible, right? So I currently have, I have no idea to pronounce this, Tope Kopke, Tope Kopke Palace, right? And I also have the Twilight Fall skin, right? So I don't suggest buying this. I only bought it for, for the 5% AP recovery. It cost me six coins. It is definitely a luxury for me, I'd say. Um, but I did have the coins and there was nothing else that I needed at the time. So I did go ahead and just buy it, okay? But the Twilight Falls, I would say, is very important if you're a field fighter right it gives five percent skill damage and that applies to all your marches right so basically means all my marches here have additional five percent skill damage which is really important right because all these marches have some form of aoe which is very aoe gets kills on the field right um i've, I've also been ottoman right for quite a while now i love using ottoman but i know people can say france is also quite good 
right? I also agree France is pretty good if you're low on speed ups, but you've seen my speed ups, right? So I'd advise you to go Ottoman if you have speed ups, and I advise you to go France if you do not have speed ups. These are the best two sieves I would say for open field fighters that have um, probably one of every troop type, right? As you can see, I have what two cav marches, right? Two cav marches, one infantry and one archer march, right? So that the Ottoman buffs as well as the France buffs, France buffs apply to all my marches, right? This march speed is universal as well as the skill damage is universal. And for France, right, you get the hospital healing speed as well as the all troop. So I'd say these two sieves are very good, but I've been using Ottoman for quite a long time, and I like it a lot. I think my trades are very good, and as you can see, you know, it shows on my profile, right? So um, that's all I have for this video, I think. Uh, if you like this video, let me know, and if I missed anything, also let me know. For my next video, I'm probably planning to do an open field guide, right? To probably show, give some tips that I use myself um, for new players as well as old players, right? Because um, I think a lot of people still struggle with open field fighting. Uh, and yeah, if you like this video, let me know and in the comments as well as subscribe.